This is the main user interface where user can sign up in the system. Users can sign up using wallet address and providing required credentials. The signed up user can log in using wallet address as well as email address. This is sign in in using wallet address. Confirmation is asked. This is user signing in using email address and password. If the user changes or tries to change wallet address while logged in, the user is auto logged out. This event cannot be completed. Only the authorized managers can whitelist the user's wallet address. Description of each event can be seen in Etherscan as pending or completed. Only whitelisted addresses can create a brand and upload the products. Every transaction completed in blockchain can be viewed in the Etherscan as an event completed or under process. The whitelisted address can register their brand. They need to choose the brand logo and brand name. The image is uploaded in IPFS. Confirmation of gas fee is asked. The logs are recorded and can be seen every any time. For product registration, the product data is filled and submitted. The image of the product is uploaded in IPFS in the background. Once the product registration is completed, the QR for the product is generated and shown along wise. The product can be seen as own product and these own products can be listed for sale. The created product can be listed for sale by giving the price for it. Once listed, the product gets the tag of on sale. The listing of the product can be cancelled as well. The purchasing of the product is initiated by scanning the QR. The QR of the product is embedded with copy detection patterns. Only the registered products are authenticated and shown while scanning the QR. The users can request the ownership of the product. The ownership of the product is transferred only when the listing fee of the product is paid. Once ownership transfer is completed, the ownership history of the product can be seen by further scanning the QR of the product. Apart from initiating the purchase of the product, the scanning of the QR can also be used to view the ownership history of the products. If a fake or copied QR is scanned, the response is shown as invalid QR. 